It's the NFL on EA Sports, and the wait is over for this rivalry game. It's the Raiders and the Chiefs, and it kicks off next on Madden NFL 24. From one of the loudest venues in the NFL, there's a look at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Well, today, two AFC teams set to do battle. It should be a good one, as it'll be the Las Vegas Raiders taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. Up in the booth with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and kickoff straight ahead, CD. What's one thing that you're going to have your eye on? I think about what the great coaches of the past always said, the key to any ball game. Can you rush theirs and protect yours? Well, in this case, both of these teams get after the quarterbacks. I'm watching the pass rush. going back to their AFL days in the 1960s. The Chiefs and Raiders are underway. Here's Richie James on the return. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The KC offense set to go, led as always by the gunslinger, a former MVP in this league. It's Patrick Mahomes. And simply put, for many, he's the gold standard for quarterbacks in today's NFL because of his ability to create find the open man, use all the different arm angles that he has. He's a complete package, and boy, his team loves to play around him. Mahomes not wasting time, he'll throw. That's complete, it's Travis Kelsey. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 13 yards on the game's opening play. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass-catching abilities, and if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter. You can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. Pacheco, 60 yards. And the Chiefs go down the field in just two plays to take the early lead. Well, if they didn't get the wake-up call before the game, they got it right now. Two plays already in the end zone. I think of it in boxing terms because whether it's a big shot with your first one or a probing one, a little bit of a jab, the second one was the payoff. That was the big one that landed. One, two... End zone. Extra point by Butker is on target. And it's now a 7 0 game. It only took him two plays there to find the end zone. The last one, the long run, getting him in for six points. Touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. DeAndre Carter returning it. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. So here comes the Raiders offense now onto the field. And leading them out there, we get a look at their 6-3 quarterback. For every rookie prospect, there are always nerves involved in this moment. Running your team out to start a game. But there's a reason they brought him in. We're willing to make him their starter today. 
They believe he can overcome those nerves and lead his team to a victory. We saw him do it at the collegiate level and really make himself into a leader and someone you can envision doing the exact same thing here in the NFL. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive to about the 23. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Second down, Jacobs once more. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 14 yards is the pickup there at a Raider first. Well, CD, a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field, but, man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning up field, but also when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast the linebackers don't have a chance to react. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Seven yards there and a first down. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation? We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game. And it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. A solid stiff arm. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. 51 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. Once again, it's Jacobs. Oh, what a move. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. So back-to-back -back big runs, picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the <laughs> era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. They didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage and they're in clearing space. He'll get only two there, and it's second and goal. A pickup of two brings up second and goal. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now, and it's Las Vegas with the football. The six yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Jacobs going to try the middle, and yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop ball right around the five here, brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick, throwing it, running it, it won't be easy. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone. But it's incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. The kick by Carlson is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So both teams come away with points on their opening drives. Now they still trail. They answered the touchdown with a field goal, but at least able to break that goose egg here early. And that is what's important, right? Because they didn't let that initial touchdown go unanswered. Took the ball themselves, moved it downfield, and put it through the post for three points. Game on.
After the made field goal, Carlson now sets up to kick this away. And we see James, he will now return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out, looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. Second and six, just inside the 30. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Mahomes now to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have the Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defense again. And now to the races down the right side. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 86 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Mahomes going to throw. Oh, the out route, he finds Hardman. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. This second and four. Now Mahomes. quarterbacks want to get the ball to the perimeter to their wide receivers for big plays but in this situation it felt like based on coverage he knew that he wanted his tight end to have the football and for good reason Butker now to add the extra point This one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. A drive that time of six plays, and it culminates in a Travis Kelsey touchdown. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Here comes the offense again, and let's focus on Josh Jacobs for a moment. Now the ground game's been good, but they're losing here in the second quarter. Can they use that ground game maybe to work the air attack a little bit more? I think so, because now you can throw play action off of being able to run the ball effectively. And oftentimes, you might want to just swing your back out of the backfield, get the ball in his hands in open space. 
and just don't get totally away from running it because some of these runs now, they may pop bigger as the game goes along. Yeah, they've been good with a run so far. Throwing on first down, O'Connell. He gets this to Devontae Adams. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Any questions of how they'd approach this drive were answered right there. They come out throwing, and they get a nice pickup here toward the end of the first half. O'Connell looking to throw on first. Gets it downfield to Mayer. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. The 22 more yards there and another first down. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. On first and 10, it's O'Connell. Over the middle, complete. That's Myers. And they're going to have a first down and also well into field goal range all the way down to the 15 here. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And the Raiders are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Now it's O'Connell. In trouble, and he'll go down back at the 12. The Mississippi State man, Chris Jones, with a sack there. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, it took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, it still definitely hurts. They'll try again on second and goal after going backwards to the 12. From the shotgun, O'Connell. They swing that out wide to Jacobs. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds right around the 7. Five yards that time on the completion. And now it's third and goal. And that extra yardage makes this upcoming field goal attempt much more manageable. Agreed, because when you talk to defensive coordinators, they always tell us the 35-yard line on our side of the field, that's the line we guard the most aggressively. Because once they get there, they believe they're in field goal range. So, yes, they'll still be down going into intermission, but the deficit is now made even smaller, very manageable. Yeah, and if nothing haywire happens here in his last couple of precious seconds, they will go into the locker room with a nice bounce in their step, having gotten a little bit closer on the scoreboard. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. So we've come upon halftime here in Arrowhead with the Chiefs on top. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment. But welcome, everyone to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. We got a strong first half out of the running back, Isaiah Pacheco. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half.
Bears are going to have it first, and they trail here as we get back to it in this third quarter of action. Here's Carter now on the return. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Now comes the Raiders offense. They'll go on offense first to start quarter number three. But Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. And they go play action here with O'Connell. He hits Adams complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. It's pretty evident that this passing game has been frustrated so far. They haven't really moved the ball the way we might have expected. But this is a good pickup here for the first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Play action. Now O'Connell. That's caught by Myers. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. It's another first down. I'm going to be a gain of 21 yards. A couple of first downs right in succession. And this is an offense that could really use a good drive. And they're off to a fast start here. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. They'll run right here with Jacobs. Move. He's still on his feet, and he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. 43 yards for Josh Jacobs, and the Raiders are back within a couple of the lead. Well, they had their chances in the first half, you remember, but had to settle for two field goals. This time, they come away with six. I think they actually got affirmation about what they were doing by getting a touchdown because the field goals means they got in range but couldn't quite finish it off. This time, they broke through, and that's great for the old confidence. And on the sideline, difference of a feeling between three and six, is it astronomical or it, no? It, it, it can be at times, that's for sure. A lot of times, the field goal feels like a disappointment. The touchdown, well, that tells you you're getting it done. O'Connell's throwing for it. Throws right side, and he's got it. So they went ahead and went for two to tie the game, and it works out. And around the goal line, especially on two-point tries, sometimes the QB's best friend is that big target the tight end. I love how you described it, because you know he's going to have some length and some catch radius, as well as a big body to keep people away from the football. So all square here in this third quarter as the kick's away. Now James returning. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. After that last touchdown we just saw, Charles, we got ourselves a brand new ball game all tied here in the third as they have their first possession of this second half. And Brandon, this drive is all about one word to me, and that's the word answer, because they're trying to answer the momentum the other offense picked up in tying the game, because not only if they score and they feel better about themselves, they'll retake the lead and maybe set the tone for the rest of the half, keeping them in the driver's seat. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. A pass complete downfield. It's Valdez Scantling. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. And another thing that makes the comeback route really effective is that oftentimes after you've made the initial move, receivers breaking away from the defensive back, and that makes it a really tough play to defend. A nice chunk of yardage picked up there. On first and 10, here's Pacheco. Now he's loose down the left sideline. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he gets all the way down inside the 20-yard line. 
127 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Well, this game's ripe for the taking, and that run, I think it means he wants to take it. Not only does he want to take it, he doesn't care what they're going to do on the defensive side of the ball. You can be prepared for him. He's coming at you anyway. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Again, it's Pacheco. And they'll get to him just inside the 15. Even after the strong run we just saw, they're able to corral him quickly defensively. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Throwing now is Mahomes. And good throw here, that's complete. And the Chiefs are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. Well, he does have one touchdown in the game already, and while this one won't go for six, it's enough to get him first and goal, but you and I both know he's going to be a little upset he didn't cross the goal line for a second time in this one. Might want the ball here on the next play. From the gun, it's Mahomes. That is caught by Rice for a Chiefs touchdown. It's a six-yard touchdown pass. And the Chiefs have moved out in front here in the final minute of the third quarter. So this game tied at the half, but we are tied no more. A touchdown there on the opening sequence of this third quarter. And what a great drive put together by their offensive coordinator. He had a plan, and they executed it almost to perfection, coming right out of the locker room. Now they're feeling good about their chances here in the second half. Extra point by Butker is on target. And the lead is now 21-14. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it winds up with the Chiefs hitting Pater. Touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And Carter deciding not to bring this one out. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. They'll look for a drive to tie this up, down 21-14 as they have it first and 10. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. He continues to be effective running the football, a big reason that they have the lead. And I love one of the quotes that I read about him where he said, of himself, I love it when a team just hops on my back and I just carry them along. First down throw, O'Connell. A pass complete downfield to Renfro. And he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Hunter Renfro, 59 yards. And the Raiders are an extra point away from tying this ball game here in the final moments of the third quarter. Great corner out there. Not only able to catch it, turn it upfield, and get into the end zone. It usually involves a little bit of an extra move, doesn't it? You've got to get them thinking that you're moving to the middle of the field and you're breaking away to that corner. Boy, that was well executed. Daniel now for the extra point, Daniel Carlson. He's got it, and we're all tied at 21. That drive started on their own 25. Two plays, 75 yards later, into the end zone.
A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And we got a brand new ball game, all even after that last touchdown. So every drive now becoming a little more critical here in the second half. second down. And they will not have time to get another play in here as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL and it's on EA Sports. A run by Pacheco on second down. And they'll stop him after a gain of a couple to the 33. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. They'll try for the first with Pacheco. Yeah, this is going to depend on the spot, but I believe he might be a few inches short. This defense not budging back-to-back -back carries of just two yards. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. On oh, is the punter Townsend as he gets this one away. Time again to see Josh Jacobs and his Vegas offense operate. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're a back, because that means everything's coming together for you. Big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. you probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. He's having a big game run in the football, but that will hurt the yards per carry a little bit. Yeah, but the average he's got so far, that's the type of average he wants to take with him to contract negotiations, doesn't he? The stop for no gain brings up second and 10 from the 20. Here's O'Connell looking to throw it. That's to the veteran tight end, Austin Hooper. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. The Arrowhead crowd in full roar. Here's third down. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. The noise is getting deafening. Here's third down and three. Able to connect with Jacobs. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Short yardage situation. You have to wonder if they thought that they were just going to run it inside. But you have to be cognizant of the back slipping out in the backfield trying to find some open space. And that's exactly what he does to the tune of a first down. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Connecting with Renfro. Yeah, he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Nice, well-coached, a team that understands what's going on. They still have time to work the middle of the field as they just did there. This is first and 10. Here's O'Connell. 
Hitting Mayer here on the out route. He'll get it to the 40. Broke a tackle there to get some extra yardage. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Here's second down. O'Connell. And that's complete to Adams. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds left to play. All three timeouts still at their disposal. Here's first and ten now. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as he'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Here's first and ten. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs, and he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. They'll come up now on second down. On the handoff, this is Jacobs. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. What pressure as this thing all rests on the foot of Daniel Carlson. This to almost certainly win the football game. And his kick is good. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. So there was a little meat on that bowl, a little more than a chip shot considering the circumstances, but he's able to bang it home in what should be the game winner. And the key was getting him into a good position to kick from. I mean, if that's a 52-yarder, you're going to have some anxious moments, but kickers nowadays, you give them anything under 40, and they're automatic. Daniel After the made field goal, Carlson now sets up to kick this away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 up to 27. The Chiefs take over first and 10 at their own 27 yard line. One final try for Mahomes. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. A fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort, that was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done but a nice game overall.